All right. Hi, everybody. It's Craig Charlotte here. Um, thanks for tuning in. I um, decided to go live today because I talk a lot about these bridge page uh, funnels. And so I figured I'd do a quick little training on, you know, exactly what one of these things is, you know, how to set it up and how simple it is to build in ClickFunnels. So, you know, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you know, if you're actually live tuning in, leave me a comment below. If you're on the replay, you know, do a hashtag replay. But anyway, uh, I'll just jump right into this. So what you're seeing here is a bridge funnel uh, funnel map. So it's really made up of just two pages. You know, there's the squeeze page where you get the attention using a nice headline, and then you move on to the actual bridge page where you have, you know, a video that shows, you know, what you're, um, uh, you know, really pre-framing the next funnel that you're going into, whether that's a, a network marketing business or a, um, you know, affiliate marketing product or, or any other kind of, uh, you know, offer or opportunity you want to bridge to. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. This also gives you the opportunity to collect emails where you then can add some automation follow-up funnels that uh, you know can continually uh, talk to your prospect and, and you know hopefully bring them back to the bridge page or convert them in another way. So I'm going to jump right into ClickFunnels and uh, you know show you how this works. So if you have any questions, by all means leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them as we move forward. So let's jump into ClickFunnels. So once you get in here. You uh, you know you go to create your funnel. If you don't have ClickFunnels, you can get one. Uh, you can get a 14-day trial. I'll leave a, a link below at some point. But anyway, once you get into it, you'll see on your dashboard a place where you can add a funnel. And there's there's two ways. There's a classic funnel builder where you can create the new funnel, or you can use the cookbook. The cookbook is the best. It really gets you in. And you can see all the different types of funnels. But uh, we'll search for the um, bridge page funnel in here, where it basically has a template. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different funnels in here. We're really just looking for the bridge page. It's somewhere down here. Here we are, bridge page. So we'll select this. And you're brought to kind of a, a page that explains the bridge page funnel. There's a nice video here from Russell where you can dive in a little bit more and see what this is used for. The funnel map I showed you at the beginning of this uh, video, you can access here and see that. And really, you also have some templates you can start from. So there's some excellent free, uh, you know, funnels that you just uh, can can suck into your uh, click funnels and build off of that have you know great design already done. Or you can use a blank one. Today I'll show you the blank. Uh, that way you can see from the basic uh, setting up of a, of a bridge page funnel. So here's where you get the funnel. It gets added to your account. It takes a couple of minutes. It's pretty simple. And the load's pretty good. So again, if you have any questions, please ask them below. I'll uh, answer them over time. You know, this is one of the most basic funnels you can build. And really the one that we recommend, you know, when you're starting out with, uh, you know, uh, sales funnels is to really build these ones. They're very simple two page funnels that are about collecting an email. So you can add to your list and build that, that asset and then you know, sending them on to a different opportunity. So as you can see, once you uh, get the funnel kind of started here, you have to pick the squeeze page. So that's that opt-in page where people are going to you know, give you a, an email. So we'll use this simple one here. You can see where you can select all these other templates, but we'll, we'll use this simple one because I've got a statement in here that uh, you know, will help you, you know, get going right away. So we'll select this template for this first squeeze page. ClickFunnels will bring it into your funnel. And then you can see it right here where you can actually go in and edit that particular funnel page. So we'll go in and edit just so you can see how easy it is to edit in this editor. And again, I'm you can use this funnel for almost any type of industry. So really, you know, you want to customize your logo. You can do that very easily here. You know, you put in the right copy, you know, you need a very good curiosity based headline to, to get them to use your email. And you can see with this funnel, it really prompts you right away, you know, to, to really go after what's your, um, you know, your target audience's biggest desire and what is their, you know, biggest pain. And so it makes it very easy to, to create curiosity based headlines uh, and, and save those and preview them. You can see right away here how easy it is, you know, just to see what this would look like and how easy it is for you to customize it in the editor. So we'll go back and we'll create, you know, the other side of this, which is the bridge page. 
This is meant to be just a quick kind of training through this, uh, just to show you. You can actually have this funnel, uh, you know, in your trial and and build off of this and and use this for your business. So here we're going to take the bridge page. We got another simple bridge here. We'll just load it into the funnel. And again, we're going to actually create a variation on this page. Instead of using this one, we're going to create a different one from a template. Oh, it's not working here. Hold on. Okay, we're going to go on to the bridge page. All right, and then we'll edit this one. All right, so here's, we actually have the same template here. We should actually change it. So let's go back. We want a different one for our thank you page. So on the bridge page, let's create the variation. We're going to create it from a template. Try this again. It should load. And then what we're going to do is uh, we want to find one that has a thank you. Let's see. These are all opt-in templates and we don't want an opt-in template. We actually want a bridge template. So we'll go back and we'll make sure we add the right one. We'll delete this funnel step and we'll start from scratch. All right, well, something's not working, so let's add that next bridge page. Bridge page. Just add the path. Sometimes, sometimes things don't always work out, so you have to easily start over, and it's not too difficult. So here we hopefully will be able to pick our page. There we are. So here I want thank you pages. That's what we wanted. So this gives us a chance to see this thank you page here. So perfect. Sometimes things don't work out, so you got to start over. And here we go. So here's the bridge page. And then you can go into here. And here's where you can put your pre-framing video. This is where you tell your story, you know, why you're using the product that you're actually promoting. Uh, you know, maybe your offer, your bonuses are all here before you send them on to uh, the product that you want them to see or the, or the network marketing opportunity. So again, your attention getting headline, your video easily can add that in from YouTube. You can see how simple it is. You just embed right from the YouTube video, makes it very easy in ClickFunnels. And then here's a button where then you can take the person on to their next opportunity, whether that's your affiliate product, website URL, or your network marketing, whatever it is. This is the concept of the bridge page. So it's very simple. You can see the preview again of this too. And really that's how easy it is. Of course, you've got to write the message depending on your target market, the, per the, the group of people that you want to serve, but you get the idea. It's fairly simple to build these bridge pages where you're collecting emails and building out your email list and your community on that asset but then also you know moving them on and presenting them with the opportunity or the offer that you are presenting to them uh, i hope this is beneficial if you have any questions again leave uh, a comment below i'm going to try and do more of these videos and show you guys more of these types of uh, 
you know, funnels and, you know, other ways that you can use uh, these tools to help grow your business. So hope this is helpful and leave some comments. Would love to know what you thought. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.